Hi, welcome to another video by A1TechStore.com. Today we're going to discuss the new Huawei E585 wireless mobile Wi-Fi modem that's just been released in the UK by the Free Network. Here's the box of the modem itself. Now let's see what you get in the box. You get one power adapter, which has a USB connection on it and a three-pin UK plug. A long USB cable, a short USB cable, and one battery, some manuals and information, a few quick start cards, and also your wireless network key card as well. Here's the new modem itself. See, it's similar to the older modem, but it's just black in colour now. Let's fire this bad boy up. Just pop the battery in, pop the back cover on. It's also got a micro SD slot as well. And uh, let's turn it on. See this one has an OLED screen which gives you a lot more information than the previous one. So what we have here is a quick information screen. So it's showing you the network status and if the Wi-Fi is on, what network you're on, and the battery. And you see it's automatically connecting to the network. And it's connected. Now let's connect this laptop here to the actual modem, which is very straightforward to do. So all we need to do first is find the modem on the network, which we already have here. Double click on it and input the wireless network key. See it's acquiring a network address now. The modem itself acts like a router, so it'll give IP addresses to devices automatically. And you see now it's connected. And on the device itself, there's actually, I don't know if you can see that, but next to where it says Wi-Fi, there's a little one there, saying one device is connected. Now let's go into the new web admin interface, which this modem has which allows you to change settings of the modem without actually connecting it to a computer. So here's the interface itself. The address for the interface is 192.168.1.1. This is the basic part of the interface. So it shows you how long you've been correct, connected and the amount of traffic you've used and it's got a few shortcuts on there. You can also view your micro SD card information from here as well, so what you've got on the SD card as well, which wasn't available in the previous version. So now let's log on to the actual advanced part of the interface so here you need to put your password in which is admin so you present it with the quick setup wizard you, you've got your connection status here so it says auto and it's connected diagnostics still shows you information up here so you got one Wi-Fi device connected you are connected your battery status what type of network connected on, any signal strength, and your network carrier. Now let's go into the advanced settings here. And here we have settings where you can change your Wi Fi settings, your DHCP settings. But the main one here is the connection settings. In your connection settings, you can actually change your APN profile. So if you have this modem unlocked or want to use it on a different network, then here you can change and add a new profile in. You then have your advanced. Um, other settings as well like your SIM settings to put like a pin number in your SIM, your DHCP and your Wi-Fi settings. On the Wi-Fi settings for example you can actually um, change the Wi-Fi key and the SSID for it so it can personalise it a bit more as well. 
here we have your firewall security settings which you can tweak and fiddle around with as well and actually with this new admin interface on 3 there's a lot more settings you can do and you don't physically have to connect the modem via USB cable you can actually manage this from probably from any Wi-Fi device there's a firewall list in here so your DMZs and your port forwarding the other new feature with this modem is that it will now charge while it's in use whereas the previous version did not do that so if we plug the USB cable of the modem in and just plug it into the computer as you can see the actual battery is charging even though it's connected which is a very good feature now you can leave this modem connected to a power supply and use it whenever you wish without the battery going down so that's the modem itself quick a brief intro, intro into it as you see now as well even on the web interface it's actually showing the battery status as well and it was just charging as well we'll have these modems for sale on our website and ebay store shortly please visit our website a1texor.com and thank you very much for watching